In this video, I'll go through exam questions that cover the criteria use measures of weight including grams and kilograms. You can locate the questions on the massmass.com website under entry 2. The questions come from different exam boards. We'll start with the non-calculated questions and then we'll move to the calculated questions. Here is the first one. Dave weighs four lambs. Which lamb weighs the most? Tick your answer. So we've got lamb A, 4.3 kilograms. Lamb B, 5.0 kilograms. Lamb C, 5.3 kilograms. And lamb D, 5.2 kilograms. 4.3 kilograms. That's over 4 kilograms, but less than 5. 5.0 kilograms, that is exactly 5 kilograms. 5.3, that is over 5, more than 5. So, so far, this is the one that weighs the most. And then we've got 5.2. If we compare 5.2 with 5.3, 5.2 is smaller. So, the highest of them all is 5.3. Kilograms. Dave feeds the cows eight bales of hay every day. How many bales of hay will he feed the cows in one week? So, eight bales of hay every day. In one week, there are seven days. So, we're doing seven times eight. Now, you need to know your timetables, or if you don't know, you need to learn them by heart. And that gives us 56. If you are in a situation in the exam when you don't know this by heart, what you can do is break down the 8 into 2, 2, 2 and 2. So 4 lots of 2 make 8. So 7 times 2, 7 times 2, 7 times 2. 2 lots of 7, that is 14. 7 and 7. So we're adding 14 4 times. 4 and 4 is 8, and another 8 is 16. So 6 down, 1 carried over. Now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that gives us 56. A vet nurse weighs these four puppies. She needs to keep a record of the weight of each puppy. She writes the weights in order starting with the lightest. What does the nurse write down? So we've got the first one, which weighs 3.2 kilograms. Second one, 2.6 kilograms. Third one, 2.8 kilograms and the fourth one 2.3 kilograms 3.2 kilograms that's over 3 kilograms 2.6 2.8 and 2.3 they are over 2 but less than 3 so 3.2 is the heaviest so that's going to go last because we start in with the lightest then 2.6, 2.8, 2.3. The lightest out of these is 2.3 because 3 is smaller than 8 or 6. So 2.3 kilograms, that's the first one. Then we have 2.6 because 6 is greater than 3 but smaller than 8. Then 2.8 and finally 3.2. Now we move into the calculated questions. Kevin can only post books that weigh under 200 grams. Which is the heaviest book that Kevin can post? Take your answer. So we've got A, which weighs 195 grams. Then we have 9 kilograms, 90 grams and 5 kilograms. You'll know that kilograms are heavier than grams. So one kilogram is heavier than a gram. So nine kilograms and five kilograms, they're much heavier than the 200 grams. 
1000 grams make one kilogram. So B and D, they're out of the question. They're much heavier. Now comparing A and C, 195 is smaller than 200. So it is a possible answer. 90 grams is also under 200. So it's also a possible answer. So it's either A or C. Question is asking which is the heaviest book that Kevin can post. So the heaviest out of these two is A because it's 195, not just 90. So the correct answer is A. Daisy weighs 12 kilograms of potatoes. Show where 12 kilograms is on the scale. So that's kilograms. So in 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So that's where 12 is. John sends the photos to his friends. He posts these letters. John thinks each of the letters weighs less than 150 grams. Is he correct? The first one weighs 145 grams, which is less than 150. So that is correct about that one. Then we've got this other letter to mark 100 grams, which is less than 150. Then to Ben, that's one kilogram. So in one kilogram, there are 1,000 grams, which is much greater than 150 grams. So he's not correct. So it said, no, the letter to Ben weighs more. Some of the donated clothes are too old to sell and are put in a box for recycling. One of the jobs in the charity shop is to weigh these boxes. The boxes are sent to be recycled when the box of clothes weighs more than 8 kilograms. The manager asks the shop assistant to weigh the box of clothes. What way does the shop assistant tell the manager? So this is over 8 kilograms, but less than 9. So it's a decimal, 8 point something. If you try 8.1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that doesn't work. So 8.2, 4, 6, 8, and then 9. That works. So this one here is 8.2. So we're going up in 0 0.2 each time. There are five divisions in there, as you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 5 times 2 makes 10. The manager wants to know how much the shop will be paid for this box of clothes. We've got clothes weight in kilograms and then money the shop gets. So less than 8 kilograms, £3. Between 8 and 10 kilograms, £7. More than 10 kilograms, £8. So this is 8.2, which is between 8 and 10 kilograms. So they will get seven pounds. The next day, there are nine boxes to send for recycling. They each weigh more than 10 kilograms. How much money should the shop get? So they weigh more than 10 kilograms. So they get eight pounds per box. And there are nine boxes. 
So 8 times 9 gives us £72. The passenger checks the weight of her suitcase. What is the weight of the passenger suitcase to the nearest kilogram? So we've got weight in kilograms, we've got 27, 28, 29. This is so close to 28. So we're going to say 28 kilograms. Because it's much closer to 28 than to 27 or 29. How much does the parcel weigh to the nearest kilogram? So kilograms, that's a zero, one, two, three, and four. And the arrow, that is so close to four. Closer to four than it is to three. So we're going to say four kilograms. And that's the end of the question.